This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. Looking for fresh entertainment to stream? We've got you covered. Ditch the cable bill and fire up the Amazon Prime Video app because we're about to delve into the top 10 movies you absolutely have to watch in 2024. This isn't your average list regurgitated from the internet. We've got a thrilling mix of genres to keep you glued to your screen, from laugh out loud comedies to mind bending sci fi flicks. Whether you're a diehard cinephile or a casual movie night enthusiast, we've got something to satisfy every craving. So grab your popcorn, settle into your comfy couch, and get ready to explore the creme de la creme of Amazon Prime in 2024. Number 10, The Big Short. Drama based on a true story starring Christian Bale, Steve Carell, Ryan Gosling, and Brad Pitt. United States, 2006, eccentric Wall Street Wisted Michael Burry realizes that the US mortgage market is heading towards a crash and begins to bet against it. This activity attracts the attention of trader Jared Bennett and idealistic hedge fund expert Mark Baum, who begin to suspect that the system could be about to collapse. The Big Short manages to break down and simplify some big complex topics surrounded in jargon and make them accessible to audiences without patronizing them. It's also a visual feast, blending drama with documentary style elements and retains McKay's sharp sense of humor. See what you just did? You just bet against the American economy. If you're wrong, you can lose it all. Number nine, Sox. Battling with terminal cancer, John Kramer hears whispers about a cure for his illness and he travels to Mexico in search of a miracle. Unfortunately, the medical breakthrough is exposed as a heartless scam targeted at vulnerable, desperate cancer patients who will pay anything to spend more precious time with loved ones. Aided by his apprentice Amanda Young, Kramer wreaks terrifying revenge on the con artists and he subjects them to a dizzying array of grisly traps. Horror sequel starring Tobin Bell. Read less. Yes, while the gory horror franchise has plenty of advocates, it's no secret that it has never enjoyed much love from critics. The film finds eternally ill John Kramer, Tubbin Bell, traveling to Mexico on the lure of a miracle cure for his cancer, which ultimately proves to be a scam. The perpetrators have no idea who they've just messed with, and it's safe to say they're going to regret it. With help from accomplice Amanda, Shawnee Smith, Kramer proceeds to subject them to his typically twisted traps. This is not retribution, it's a reawakening. Number eight, The Northman. Prince Amleth, the son of the murdered Viking King Orvandil Warraven, heads to cold, windswept Iceland to retrieve what was stolen from him, a father, a mother, and a kingdom. Amleth embarks on a murderous quest to find a hateful adversary whose life is forever woven together with his by the hands of fate. Historical adventure starring Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, Klaas Bang, and Ethan Hawke. It's a blood-soaked, brutal watch, which strays more into mainstream entertainment than any of Edgar's previous efforts, but which still retains his off-kilter tone and sense of style. Nicole Kidman, Klaas Bang, Anya Taylor-Joy, and Willem Dafoe all put in exceptional supporting performances, while Skarsgård is electric in the central role, carrying the film as he makes his way through foes to get his long-dreamed-about vengeance. <laughs> Number 7. Anatomy of a Fall in this Palm Door winning psychological thriller, a celebrated writer is put on trial when her husband falls to his death from their secluded chalet. What starts as a murder investigation soon becomes a gripping journey into the depths of a destructive marriage. And it's by no means difficult to see why it was so acclaimed, with the film offering both a captivating courtroom mystery and affecting portrait of a crumbling marriage. Sandra Heller, who was also in the running for Best Actress at the Oscars, is exceptional in this central role which requires her to speak three different languages. While there are also super performances from child actor Malo Machado Grainer and even from Dov Messi, who delivers what is surely one of the best animal performances ever committed to film. I'm innocent, you know that, right? Number six, reality. On June 3, 2017, 25-year-old reality winner returns to her home in Augusta. She is greeted by FBI Special Agents Garrick and Taylor, who intend to interrogate Winner about her possible involvement in the leak of a classified report about Russian interference in U.S. 2016 elections. Crime drama starring Sydney Sweeney. 
The fascinating true story of American whistleblower reality winner is explored to chilling effect in this razor shark drama from Degut filmmaker Tina Satter. Using a script drawn from genuine transcripts, the film recreates the former NSA translator's interrogation by two FBI agents after she was arrested in 2017 for leaking a classified report about Russian interference in US elections to the press. Bolstered by a superb central performance from Sidney Sweeney, the film is all the more tense for Satter's decision to eschew melodrama in favor of sober realism. Reality, reality, reality. Number five, John Wick, chapter four. John Wick, Hedy Reeves, uncovers a path to defeating the high table. But before he can earn his freedom, Wick must face off against a new enemy with powerful alliances across the globe and forces that turn old friends into foes. Ever since the first one debuted, the John Wick films have been a masterclass in how to make an action film work. The plot machinations have been light and breezy, and the action itself has been exhilaratingly choreographed. Plus, it doesn't hurt to have the excellent Keanu Reeves in the central role. However, this might just be the best yet in the franchise, a breathless three-hour epic in which we watch John on the run, attempting to beat the high table once and for all and escape the hit they put out on him. Reeves is brilliant as ever while Donnie and brings an intriguing new character, Kane, to life. The action is absolutely top-notch and you'll find yourself mouth agape at the audacity of some of the sequences. Number four, The Long Good Friday, crime drama starring Bob Hoskins and Helen Mirren. East End gangster Harold Shand is trying to set up a massive property deal involving the impending redevelopment of the London Docklands area. When his plans are knocked off course by the violent intervention of an unknown rival, Harold seeks revenge. One of the greatest British films ever made, London set gangster drama The Long Good Friday is a terrific showcase for the late Bob Hoskins, who stars as Cockney crime boss Harold Shand. The film follows Harold as his attempts to forge good. Suspects are the fault of a mole within his criminal outfit. His methods of trying to determine the apparent mole are often ruthlessly violent, but always captivating, and Hoskins is electric in the central role. Three. Number three, Inglorious Bastards, second world war action adventure directed by Quentin Tarantino and starring Brad Pitt. After a Jewish woman's family are slaughtered by the Nazis, she changes her identity and flees to Paris, only to come face to face with the man responsible for the massacre. Meanwhile, LT Alda Rain leads a guerrilla squad of Jewish Americans into occupied territory to carry out a series of raids on the enemy, earning a fiercer reputation in the process. Inglorious Bastards marked something of a change in direction for Quentin Tarantino, who until that point had largely made films set in contemporary times. All of his films since Bastards have been period pieces, not that this change in approach led to any watering down of his instantly recognizable style or his fascination with revenge narratives. Nine, 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 nine. Sound good? Yes, sir. Number two, Mafia Mama. A woman unexpectedly inherits a mafia empire where she defies everyone's expectations as the new head of the family business. Action Kami, starring Tony Collette, Monica Bellucci, Alessandro Bresanello, and Eduardo Scarpetta. Part screwball comedy, part mob movie pastiche, this outlandish yarn stars Tony Collette as a timid American mom who is installed as the head of a crime syndicate following the death of her grandfather. While attending his funeral in Italy, she finds herself in the midst of a war between rival families and forced to broker peace while dodging assassination attempts. The broad gag fest isn't subtle, but there's a lot to like, including Collette, whose comic timing is exemplary. <laughs> I am tired of this war. My family is tired of this war. Number one, Till. Maybe Till Mobley lives in an all-black neighborhood of 1955 Chicago with 14-year-old son Emmett. The boy visits cousins in Mississippi and violates an unspoken code of conduct by paying 21-year-old white shopkeeper Carolyn Bryant a compliment. He is lynched and Mamie fights for justice. History biopic starring Danielle Deadweiler, Jalen Hall, Frankie Face, and Anne Haley Bennett. This bold, heartbreaking historical drama depicts the aftermath of the infamous 1955 lynching of teenager Emmett Till in Mississippi. Co-writer slash director Chinani Chukwu focuses on the protracted attempt by the boy's resolute mother, Mamie Till Mobley, Danielle Deadweiler, to bring the killers to justice in a state riddled with systemic racism. The film thankfully holds back on the violence, but Chukwu finds plenty of chilling moments throughout. Meanwhile, 
Deadbother's powerful, dignified central performance ably carries this portrait of a woman whose tenacious campaigning helped galvanize the civil rights movement in America. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for future interesting content. Thanks for watching.